Everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. A couple of days ago, I released the initial video for the setup for Unify Talk. In this video, we're going to take a look at the auto attendant features as well as some other settings. If you're new here, please hit the subscribe button. Make sure to hit the bell icon. If you'd like to hire me for network consulting, visit www.mactelecomnetworks.com. If you'd like to support the channel, we have memberships available and you could join below this video. With the smart attendant within the Unify Talk system, when you call into your phone number, it will pick up. And then we could have custom messages like for sales, press one. We could either use the built-in robot voice or we could create our own voice clip. So let's go ahead and start the smart attendant. To find the smart attendant, we need to go to the left pane and click on this icon. And we have five steps. So it says, meet your smart attendant. Your smart attendant will help you manage multiple business lines and allow incoming callers to use voice and dial commands to ensure that they always connect with the right person. To get started, what would you like to name your smart attendant? I'll call it Mac Telecom Attendant. And then we'll press next. Now it's asking us, what number do you want your smart attendant to answer? So I did buy a second number and we'll go over that in a bit because I had a few questions in my last video. And the number that we're gonna select is this staff number. Here we could choose a couple different ringbacks. So let's take a listen to them. We have the classical, we have the electronic, we have the jazz, we have piano, serene, and then upbeat. I'll leave mine at default. You could also upload a custom ring back and we'll press next. On step three, it says, will your smart attendant work differently based on business hours? We could select no or yes. We're gonna select no for the purpose of this video and we'll press next. Now we're on step four. So it says, what do you want your smart attendant to say when they answer? And we have two selections of voices. We have voice one and then we have voice two. We could have this automatically generate what to say. We just need to type it into this text box here. So let's take a listen at what the voice one sounds like saying this message. Hello, thank you for calling us. Please select from one of the following options. All right, so that's voice one. Let's take a listen to voice two. Hello, thank you for calling us. Please select from one of the following options. I like voice two better. It sounds a little more natural and we could change this message up. And I'll put, hello, thank you for calling Mac Telecom Networks. Now let's listen to see what the voice sounds like with our new script. Hello, thank you for calling Mac Telecom Networks. And that sounds pretty good. We could also record our own with our mic or we could upload a file. Let's try recording our own. Now it says click the microphone icon to record your message. Hi, welcome to Mac Telecom Networks. For sales, press one. For service, press two. For anything else, press three. Now we could listen to our recorded voice message. Hi, welcome to Mac Telecom Networks. For sales, press one. For service, press two. For anything else, press three. Okay, and we'll leave it with this recorded option and we'll press next. Now we're on step five. Do you want your smart attendant to direct calls based on your caller's key press? After initial setup, you can assign additional key presses. We're gonna select yes. So key press one, the prompt is gonna be sales. The user group, we'll have this just going to my phone right now. If we press two, it's gonna be service. We'll have that go to YouTube one. And then the last one will be anything else. And that will go to YouTube test two. You could also have these ring your groups and we have that staff group that we created in the last video. Now I'm gonna press finish. Once we press finish, now we could see our smart attendant tree. So we get an incoming call on the phone number that we specified and it plays the voice prompt. If they press one, it goes to my Cody McCallum phone. If they press two, it goes to YouTube test one. They press three, it goes to YouTube test two. That was pretty straightforward and easy to set up. If we need to add another button or another message, we could do so. All we would need to do is go to the auto attendant, click on the plus button, and then we could select the prompts. We could have a key press or we could do play audio. If we want to make a totally new smart attendant up in the right corner, we could press add new. So then we'd go through all these steps again, and we could do this for a separate number. So if this was a co-location and you had multiple businesses with different numbers, you could set up different smart attendants for them. So that will be it for the smart attendants. Another question I had in the initial video is if I buy another subscription, will it add those 3000 minutes to the bulk bundle? And yes, it will. So I purchased a second line just to test this out and we could see under the total external minutes for the subscription, we're only at 26 minutes, but we now have 6,000 minutes 
which is doubled our minutes that we're able to call. Another thing I'm still kind of unclear of is how many calls we can make simultaneously at once. So if we have 10 phones, can they all make outbound calls or receive incoming calls? I did find this forum post about four months ago. It says that Ubiquity has confirmed in other posts that they do not limit anything Twilio, which is the underlying SIP provider, what they offer. So we can make as many outbound and inbound calls as we want per phone number. If you have any other insight on that, please leave it in the comments below. So that's going to be it for this video. We will go more in depth on other phone features. Let me know what you'd like to see in the comments below. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right. Thanks.